Welcome back to another exploration. Today we're exploring an insane asylum compound. This compound started its life as a U.S. Army munitions compound in 1826. It was also used to confine captured Native Americans, including Geronimo. Let's see what's inside. Upstairs and see what we find. Dude, I hate these boats. What the heck? They do this every. Always. Mind what you touch. You guys know I gotta check out the restrooms. Yeah, they just look standard. Not very exciting. Hmm. I expected a little better. Ooh, here we go. Nice original porcelain sink on this one. There's a, looks to be a window right there. Do I open it? I'm kind of terrified, but I'm gonna do it. Ew, it's like a window to this room next to this which is not or unaccessible anymore. Check out this room. This is 70s right here, buddy. Orange carpet. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool how the plants are just growing on a drop ceiling like that. Must have been enough moisture and just a perfect storm for it to live with the light right there. Natural lighting. Whoa, approach the beds. Wow, there's a few of them. This place is pretty cool so far. A lot of natural decay. This is the kind of stuff I really enjoy. It's like a receptionist desk or possibly just a nurse's desk. And this is where the patients would be. It may have been a lot more beds back then, but still very cool to see. If this would have been like uh, the nurse's lockers or perhaps the patient's lockers, they do have locks on them, every single one of them. The insides are lined with pastel pink, which is interesting. So much dust. There's like inch layer of it right here. This has never been touched right here. Which means not too many people have came here. This would have been the patient's room, it looks like. The floor's completely gone there. You can see where they would have had all that protection. They would have the mesh there and then like the steel grates on the other side. As well as on that side. Wow, that one is gone. I'm gonna have to watch our steps because it's getting a little dicey. But as far as all the other patients' rooms, they're pretty much gone. 
just more and more uh, more patient rooms. I like this chair. Love the color on it. Very 1950s. Could be wrong in the year, but hey, whatever. And you got this interesting looking chair. Pretty cool. This is a little dicey. I should have brought my mask. Holy crap. I think they did go up there. It looks like insulation. Hopefully not asbestos. we're about to find out. Wow, dude, though. <laughs> that looks sick. Wow. This is insane, dude. Guys, like right here, you can see the decay. Place is falling apart, man. Yeah, a little dicey. Wow, this place is rough. Ultra sketchy. Oh wow, what's this? That's oh, a puzzle. Maybe wonder if a patient completed this puzzle and just hung it up right here. See, it's missing just one piece. Store looks really interesting. Looks like they were reinforced with metal. The weird thing about it is you open it and uh, there's still another door. I'm not walking in there because of that obvious reason, but I would assume they would have this closed so they wouldn't get attacked. But it's, it's wood with some metal right here. It's interesting. Whoa, now that's a, that's a photo setup if I've ever seen one. Wow. Or, and maybe it's not set up. I'm gonna lean towards it's set up, but it looks sick regardless. I think we're pretty much done with uh, this building. We've done like pretty much everything in this side. Uh, so we're gonna venture out. We have not seen security yet, but that's not to say they're not out there patrolling. We've just gotten lucky. So we're gonna be very careful. Go outside and let's see what we find. The way this whole floor is flexing over my head shows me I need to, I need to walk away from this. We're trying to find a way out of the building. Here? Yeah, we're already here, might as well. We're trying to find these uh, circular beds. They're supposed to be like the coolest thing here. So uh, let's hope we can find them before we get busted. The entrance, and then this would have been the police station right here. There's your camera, which obviously doesn't work, otherwise, I would have already been here. But this place is absolutely massive. Buildings here, it's crazy. We're gonna see if we can get into uh, this main one. This is the one we've been after the whole day. Hopefully, without getting caught.
That's something I've never seen before. What is that? It's just overgrown. You know what I'm thinking? Somebody had a plant here in the window and it just kept growing, growing. It's nuts. of some kind oh no you know what this could have been the cafeteria here's, here's where they would uh would serve the trays right here you would return them and then they'd wash them on that hobart i think this is a cafeteria really yeah that's where they would have your trays this place is actually full of stuff it's so cool I'm assuming these were the, uh, maybe not. I thought these would have been the tables. Small cafeteria for such a big facility. Oh, what the f bro. Dude, dude. Mm-mm, I need to see. One quick sweep, it's bad. There's milk right there. Oh God. Uh, There's milk right there. Just talking about it, I can smell it. That one didn't smell it. They can't make announcements now. <laughs> That's a neat cup. I'll use it. Wash it up real quick. It's a braille book. That's pretty cool. And there's patient files in here, it looks like, but uh, I'm probably not gonna film that because it's it takes it takes too much time to blur it. This would have been the patient's uh, activity schedule. It is. This is personal time, breakfast, TC group, which I'm not sure what that means. Outside activities, lunch, medications, uh, more recreational center. Dinner. Dinner. So it has their medications on there? Like when they take medicine? This is, just, mm -hmm. this is just their their daily schedules. Here's their. Because uh, everybody eats dinner, you know, everybody has uh, meds at a certain time, things like that. And there's more over there. A lot of patients. Yeah, this would have definitely been a staff area then. Cool. Wow, this is really cool. Super creepy. Creepy vibes in here, right? I love it. So many pants. They're just stacked on each other. That's what it is. That looks like a crib right there, but it's like yeah. for a full size adult. Yeah. Notice the other side has a drop down gate. Well, it, probably, it probably would be for a full size adult. Maybe somebody that's like a. Has issues. Kind of like, kind of like has a mind of a younger person. Like a, they're kind of like still a child, but they're trapped in a bigger body. Yeah. Kind of like that. If you don't know the exact thing, people are going to be like, you guys are dumb. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. More, beds. more and more beds. I wonder if originally this, this place was just lined with beds like this. unreadable. Hopefully those beds we're looking for up here. Nope. It's the uh, main level. Mm. 
Is this cigars. King Ed. Oh, it's a Swisher. What the heck? Someone's rolling up bunts up here. Even the box it's in looks sick. Look at the, the box of that. You could break it. I don't want to, because look at the box. It looks <laughs> sick, huh? Yeah. Find some cool little stuff just scattered around. Check that. I'm no expert, but... Oh, you found another one? There's a whole collection almost. This one looks a little... Oh, these look about the same. Wow, that's a heavy-duty stamp. It's heavy. Banks mentioned double toilets, and I'm all for it. All right. If y'all tell me this is a bidet, y'all flame me for that. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. Looks like we found a bat. Looks like a vampire bat. Yeah, he's just chilling up there. I wonder if there's more in here. I don't know. Go in. Say hi to him. I don't see any more in here. Wow, that's kind of a weird feeling. This looks that looks cool. Ooh, dude, that's insane. Oh, you found them? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Yes. This is what yeah. we came for. So, why did you call me? The main event. It's top of that, look at, there's a drainage pump right here. And all sorts of... Let's go, baby! Yeah. Holy crap, these are amazing. I think we might actually be busted. It looks like uh, another vehicle pulled in. So uh, they're trying to check it out. Hopefully they don't see us. So basically right now, it looks like the lady is doing a patrol. So uh, we're gonna wait till she goes back to her post so we can move again. So we're probably just gonna stay here for a little while. We're just waiting in a asylum waiting room. Hoping scary passes soon. We've been here for quite a while. He's got an orange hair. <laughs> I feel like, um, all right, she's, all right, she's come back from her patrol, so we're gonna continue on this journey. This is pretty dang cool. You don't see him intact anymore like that. Looks like a straight up prison. There's like levels of the illness where they would put them, you know? That's a good question. You know, like maybe One thing I'm noticing though is uh, these, they don't have bars, like the reinforcements on the doors, like the other ones did. These might be for more... Um, Lower level inmates. Maybe. And they don't have the double door like the other ones did. Yeah, so maybe this was for like the less... You know, Troublemakers. Less trouble this is a linen closet. It's a mattress. This is the first mattress I actually see.
that's beautiful. Super overgrown, looks magical. Wow. The land was deeded to the state in 1891 and turned into an asylum for the colored insane. In 1964, the Civil Rights Act was enacted and the facility disbanded further operations after desegregation. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, consider subscribing to my friends that are with me on this adventure. I'll have their social medias down below. Well, that's all I got, guys. Catch you on the next exploration.